Hey, what is up, guys? It's your little here, back with another Roblox scripting throw. Today, I'm teaching you how you can make a settings GUI. Um, and uh, this is actually requested by uh, Vinny Plays. So, yeah, let's get into it. First, in lighting, make sure global shadowing, shadows is on, because that's what we're going to make first. In starter GUI, now your screen GUI. And uh, add a frame. Name this, like settings frame and you can make this anything well i'm just gonna make this okay pink is kind of color oh like that like that add a ui corner because why not it's about 15. right so now in here add a this button Actually, no, you don't have to do that. You can do... So, in screen GUI, add a text button. This will be our open button. And uh, actually get this. Copy that. Make that zero. Duplicate this. Um, so, yeah. Now in text... Uh... Go in here, and you can do the text to anything you want. Like, I'll just make it say, like, your font. I'll make it, like, Fredica 1, for example. And we'll say, shop. And I'll make the text, like, a white. Yeah. So now, I right, so local script and say, script.parent. Mouse button, one click, connect, function, and uh, parentheses. Now do, if script.parent dot parent dot settings frame dot visible equals equals true then script dot parent dot parent dot settings frame dot visible equals false do else script dot parent dot parent dot settings frame dot visible equals true and also make sure to send this to visible uh, false so now we go ahead and we can test it out And I just realized, yeah, so it works. And I made a mistake. It's actually settings, not shop. I don't know why I put that in. Okay, so now you can uh, make this visible again. Make it add a text label. We'll make this like go across here. Background transparency, two, one. Then text will be settings. Let's make that fractal code one to uh, match it. Make that a white. Okay, so now once you're here, uh, actually duplicate this and make it like half of it. Or about right here. Bring this down and name this like shadows. And now we get shadows, and then like this. Then you can duplicate this as you want. And then this one will be um, hide GUI. Then make sure that's, er, Hide UI. Make sure this is hide GUI. And now, once you have this, um, uh, you're also gonna go on here and uh, make this say music. And actually change the text to this to hide. UIs. And so now add a text button, or you can just copy this and make this sort of a darker color. Also, make sure this is like shadows. And now in the local script, add this. So 
delete that. Add script up here dot mouse model click connect function and like that. And do um if game dot lighting dot global shadow global shadows um equals um equals false then script dot parent dot text equals shadows on and so now we're gonna go um game dot lighting dot global shadows equals not game dot lighting dot global shadows do else uh else script dot parent dot text equals shadows off then do game dot lighting dot global shadows equals not game dot lighting dot global shadows and so now you can test it out and also make sure that this button says um shadows make sure that says on uh, uh you can make this visible uh oh okay so actually make that visible again we need to put this inside of here actually no under that put this side here just you know make that line up again so now you can test this out um so as you can see settings we open it shadows say that but now we actually have to uh make something have a shadow so just make this anchor that let's play so um as you can see shadows on shadows off and it becomes off so boom so you can press stop so that's one down now this one is going to be a music button so we're going to do um uh so go in toolbox go to audio and just search up whatever you want like music we'll just add something yeah well this and name this audio so now in here settings ui make that visible uh you just go down onto here to music this will say music and text will say music or er, it will say uh mute slash unmute and so for this one very simple in the local script delete that do local audio equals game dot go for this dot audio then do script dot parent dot mouse phone click connect function just enter like that now do if audio dot volume equals equals uh zero then and and do audio dot volume one do else audio dot volume is, uh, zero then now you can test this out also in music make the audio make sure it's looped and playing and you can test this out really quick
also, music is on. Press mute. Music is now on. And shadows are here. So, yeah. Now for a final last one. We are going to um, create a new screen GUI. This will just be kind of like a test. Add just like a frame. Add like a text button right here. You're not gonna actually be using that, but so now duplicate this, make this right here, line up with that, name this hide UI button. Then make the text say hide. UI. Or I should say hide UIs. Local we'll script. Do script dot parent. Also rename this to, oh yeah, okay, good. You or no. Rename this to like settings GUI. So make make sure the settings GUI is in a brand new screen GUI if you want to add hide UIs. It makes it way easier. So do script dot parent dot maximum click connect function and uh parentheses now do script dot parent um dot visible equals or no script dot parent wait no okay so if script dot parent dot parent Parent dot parent dot script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot screen GUI dot visible or dot enabled equals equals true then script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot screen GUI dot enabled false else script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot screen UI dot enabled equals true. So I can go ahead and give this a test. Make this visible equals false. Um just gotta wait for this to load in. Music is on, open settings. Hide you guys as you can see it hides those but and uh, yeah, if you want to do something, make sure all of this, all of your other things are in screen GUI. Make sure settings UI is separate. So you can open it up, hide UIs, mute slash unmute, and shadows. There we go. There it is. So yeah, that'll pretty much be it for this tutorial. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!